Welcome to GP Sports. Today's video, we're going to look at creating analysis zones in Team AMS. The reason we create analysis zones is to ensure that your session files can be consistently and meaningfully analyzed using either generic or individual zone settings. So to create your analysis zone settings, simply go to the analysis tab, top left, and then move across to your zones tab. Then select your speed and heart rate zones tab. Now what you can see here is I have a list of generic zones that have already been created. Now I wish to apply or create a new zone. Simply select on insert zone and you can see a new row has been automatically created titled new zone one. I would give this a name, generally your team name. Now as we go across the columns you can see the next one says use percentage speed. What this is asking you is that do you want to use absolute settings for your speed analysis or do you want to use relative zone settings for your speed analysis? At the moment it's indicated to say no, I want to use absolute speed zone analysis. And then you can see there are six zones that can be applied to your speed analysis. Each value for the zone represents the lower and the upper value for the zone. So in zone one, my Analysis is 0 to 1.5 meters per second. Zone 2 is 1.5 to 3 meters per second. Zone 3 is 3 to 5 meters per second and so forth. The reason why it's in meters per second in my team AMS is, is that because I have configured the team AMS to report in meters per second. If you've done it, configured your system to report in kilometers per hour, you simply input kilometers per hour in these zone settings. The other way that you can apply or create zone settings is to go up the page a bit and as you can see here I have my six zone settings but I can actually apply a percentage speed to create my zone settings. So zone 1 is 0%, zone 2 is 60, zone 3 is 70% and so forth. I simply input my maximum speed and then it will automatically create my absolute zone settings. I then simply select my zone, so team name, and click on apply to zone, and it will apply those settings to my speed zone. You also go through the same process for your heart rate zone settings. What I will say with heart rate though, it's very common that clients will want to use percentage of max heart rate selected to yes. So what that means is they want to look at the relative heart rate analysis. So they will use uh, your zone settings to create percentages of max heart rate, which will then analyze the relative heart rate data from the athlete based on the max heart rate that was inputted into the player profile for that athlete. Once you are happy with your heart rate zone settings, you can then go across the tabs. There's settings for exertion index, maximum heart rate base exertion index, the accelerometer which looks at your impact zones, acceleration deceleration zone settings and your metabolic power zone settings. Now if you are in doubt we suggest you don't make any changes to these zones until you become more knowledgeable and familiar with our system. Once you've created your, your zone settings and select to save changes, you, it's now important to go and apply these zone settings to your players in your player profile. What you can see here is my default zone setting is set at rugby league. What this means is that any sessions that are downloaded and that are applied to a player that is not in my player profile, the default zone setting will be rugby league. But what we suggest is that you actually give every player in your player profile a zone analysis zone. So you simply go to your player profile page Go select your athlete, go across to, to the default zone, and then as you can see here, give them a analysis zone. And I, in this case, I'm going to use team name, which is the analysis zone that I just created, and then select your save changes. This way that any data that is now downloaded and applied to this player, it will use the, the, the analysis zone that is selected for this player.